Okay guys, I'm going to tell you, um, it's a wee sea trout fly. Now this, this is going to be a variation on a fly called the Baltic Special. Now, you'll find this pattern, the original pattern, sorry, in um, Peter O'Reilly's book, The Trout and Salmon Flies of Ireland. Now, I'm just going to tie a slight variation on the, on the fly, just using modern day sort of way materials if you like. So this is a very successful pattern, the Baltic Special, um, if you fish for sea trout and it basically helped Peter O'Reilly basically crack the, the sea trout code, if you like, on the Moy estuary in the early 90s. Now, it was given, the fly was given to a gentleman uh, called P. J. Alley of Castle Bar by a German angler called Hans Eber. Now, it's usually fished on an intermediate line and look, give it a go. You fish for sea trout, it's going to be a good pattern to have in your box. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a glow bright floss number three in this nice red. The hook in the vase is a bronze streamer, traditional streamer in bronze. It's one of the, the fooling mill hooks. There are other bronze available. So I'm just going to come in and get the glow bright floss started at the end of the hook. And then we'll just work this down. Now 6 red thread if you've got it or um, a 140 red in the UTC will work well to cover this. I'm just using the glow bright floss because it's going to give me a nice flavour when I wind up the Opal Morales tinsel. Now the rib on the fly, so sorry I've just brought the thread down and I'm in line with the point of the hook. The rib on the fly is just going to be the ultra wire and silver. So I'm going to take a good length off now, don't be too stingy with the wire because this is going to be it's a long shank hook. You need to make sure you've got yourself enough off the, that you're getting up to the top. The body is going to be the Opal Mirage tinsel in large. Same again, don't be skimping on the tinsel. You want to make sure you've got plenty to get you up to the the top of the hook. I'm right, just going to offer that up. The Opal Mirage. Right. I want it on my side. I'm just going to pull it in. And then just take your Glow Bright Floss number 3 if you're using this or your thread, whatever you decide to use and just run this up. Now it's a simple fly to tie. You can't go wrong with it. I'm just going to bring it up within a head length. Now, what I'm going to do here is whip finish off the Glow Bright Floss. Trim that away. And to finish the fly off I'm going to come in with a uni thread. 801 red. So start off at the eye and work my thread up around about a head length. Now you want a decent head on the fly too. That's part of it. Trim away the the excess. Then we can bring up our Opal Mirage tinsel. And once you start to wind this up, you'll see the red showing through. Now you don't have to use red, you could use fire orange or chartreuse, many different colours you could use on the on the body. Now I'm just bringing the Opal Mirage tinsel up one turn overlapping the other. Right the way up to the fine around with your thread. A couple of turns to secure and then you can come in and trim away the excess. Then you can come up with your wire. Now, get a couple of turns going at the back first and then just rib the body seven times there stuck me up to the top come around with the thread now, just going to make sure that I'm tying the wire in really strongly here because that's what's holding the fly together and then come in and bend and break away the wire just bring the thread to the eye We'll work our thread back down to there. Now, two parts to the wing. 
on the original pattern it was pearl lure flash and blue lure flash that was used what I'm going to use here this is a peach uh, glistening glow and a blue glistening glow okay so I'm going to take, take the peach first now I got this stuff some materials dropped off today by a friend and that's it there so hopefully you can see that on the camera glistening glow blue slinky faber 30 centimeters good stuff so I just want to take a length of it off just offer it up to the offer it up to the hook now, the under wing is going to be the under part the under wing I don't want I just want that slightly coming past the bend to one of the way down here if you want it down or you tether, there I just want it slightly coming past the the bend of the hook and then I'm just going to come around with a pinch and loop nice tight turns now because this is real stiff fibre that you're dealing with here come in nice pair of sharp scissors trim away the excess now I'm just going to take my thread down into the cut ends then over the top just to make sure it's well secured and then just bring my thread back up into position then you can get the blue glistening glow it's lovely stuff nice material to use and you get loads of it takes enough for the for the blue part of the wing trim this away just take away some of the longer fibers I just want the blue longer on the peach just a wee tad longer on the peach to there just hold it on top come in with a pinch and loop nice tight turns just want to see what way we're sitting here. Okay, happy enough with that. Then I'm just going to come in and trim away the excess of the blue. I'm just going to take the thread into the cut ends and then down over the cut ends. Now you can build up your head. Now don't be shy with the size of the head on the fly. It's a sea trout pattern. So that's part of it, the head's part of it. Now I'm just using the red uh, uni thread here. What you could use is you can back in and use the glow braid floss number number three if you wish. Now we'll just come in with our whip finishing tool and throw in a whip finish. Then just come in and trim away the Excess thread. Just get the wing up for you, just so you can see the wee fly. Now, just to finish off, just a wee drop of super glue onto the head, right the whole way right round. And then, once that dries, I'll come in and put on couple of coats of varnish onto the head and that will seal everything up. I have one here I'll just show you. So that's one there that has been varnished. Good wee fly to have in your box. So guys get a few tied up, you fish for the sea trout and hopefully they can catch you a few fish.